This is the Google Autocomplete Challenge. This is the three-time Lakeside World Champion, Glenn Durrance. So you ready to answer some questions from the internet, Glenn? I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's the weird thing you said you weren't <laughs> going to do. Okay, um, right, first up, what did Glenn Durrant do before darts? I worked in housing, I'm sure it would say on the, on, on there. It was 30 years to the day in housing. I, as, as a YTS, I did my um, assignment in uh, the local council. Uh, mm. 2nd of February 1989, I started. 2nd of February 2019, I retired. Right, so was that literally from the coming out of school of education? Yeah, I was, went straight was to that. two years YTS. So I was with ICI, uh, which obviously if you, I've got to get Middlesbrough in. If you're from Middlesbrough, you worked at British Steel or ICI. And uh, <laughs> I, I had my, my YTS was with ICI, but went to the council, did me two years, got the job and stayed there 30 years. Okay, uh, uh, this be tight. He's already mentioned Middlesbrough, so anybody had uh, yeah. the sweepstake of when it was going to happen, you just, know, only seconds in. Just need Matty Dennett knowing that. <laughs> well, it's the other one, um, the, uh, the Glen Durham sweep. Why does Glen Durham love Parmos? Well, it's a, it is a, the Teesside favourite meal. I mean, if you, if you like chicken and you like cheese, then you know, you're going to love a, a, a Parmo. So if you go to any pizza shop, uh, in our area, you know, the, the first choice is palm or rather than pizza or kebabs, I think, you know, it sort of branched out to County Durham, Newcastle, where you can go to Leeds, you can go to Australia and, you know, oh, the good word some, is of the, spreading. some of the expats have uh, gone over there and done that, but it's a, yeah, it, it, it's our own dish and it's about four to five thousand calories <laughs> at, per at, portion. At your peak, how many palmos were you eating? One a week. You know. One a week. Yeah, that's that, that's a weekly that, that's, that, that's quite that's quite normal. I, I, <laughs> I, I probably am down to now one every three months or something like now. But okay. it, it, you know, it would be my dying meal if I was ever on um, what they call it. I'm a celebrity, and you get you know your choice at the end your three course yeah, yeah. meal. The Palmer would be my main meal. There you go. I mean, nice you went. I'm a celebrity rather than death row. Then. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, okay. I've got, who does Glenn Durrant support? Now, I'm assuming this is a football question, but, but maybe it's not. Maybe, I mean, you can brand, answer that however you like. Well, it would be crazy for me not to say that, but there's this crazy rumour that I was a Man United fan. I've heard that rumour. Yeah, so, um, you know, if Chris Bradley is watching, he can put that to bed. But um, we, I used to do a thing called uh, play-by-mail football. You know, so you've got FIFA and all that now. Mm. So I was a football manager, but it was done through the post. Oh, yeah, I've, yeah, I've yeah. heard about those. So I was written about 1988, 89, and uh, three or four of us at work. And my was, team was Shifo FC. Enzo Schifo, if you know oh, yeah, yeah. football. Yeah, yeah. So I was mad about him. Uh, Belgian captain, uh, played for Inter Milan. Um, and it was around about that time, Channel 4 were doing Italian football, mm. and I just loved Enzo Schifo. Uh, so I was Schifo FC, and so it was so big. Uh, and then, so what we did was, we designed our own. We created, you know, it was people like, um, you know, the Man United team, which I got was the Roy Keane era, Mark Hughes. Okay. Um, and we, we give the marks 96 shot, 92 pass, all before they came out on, on computer there. So I was, we were, I was so into this. Uh, so and it's like a football manager style game, just on bits of paper and play, bits of envelopes. Play, play by mail, it was called. And for a transfer, Dan Dawson would, and I would get me envelope, Yes, I won 2-0 this week. And inside, I have a message of Dan Dawson, manager of Birmingham, would you sell so-and-so for so-and-so? Uh, and so that, that was how it's done. So to see it, you know, so big now, you know, on, uh, you know, what, what the kids are doing today. But <coughs> my, and that's where the Man United sort of link comes right. I manage Man United. Okay. Uh, and uh, my final deal was Mark Hughes plus 10 million for Alan Shearer. So it was that era. That uh, seems like a sensible yeah, it was, deal it was, to me. It was, it was a good deal. It like a sensible deal to me, yeah. but actually genuinely a Middlesbrough fan. Bruce Rioch, I'm a Bruce Rioch. So 1987 to 1991, about four years, uh, home and away. Okay. Uh, oh, we've got a darts one here for you. Uh, why did Glenn Durrant leave the BDO? Um, it was the, as far as I was concerned, it was the final challenge and it was, you know, it was something, um, Really, I, I was ridiculed as a BDO world champion, seriously. And that's what's been absolutely incredible about this week. You know, I mean, Britain loves a good loser. Uh, so when I was winning things in the BDO, the hate was incredible. You know, it was like you'd never make in the PDC, you'd never beat Michael Van Gerwen. 
So um, it was inevitable in the end. I'd run out, I'd fallen out of love. I remember playing Adam Smith Neal. Oh yeah. I remember playing him in front of about 50 people in the World Masters final. Mm. And I was like, this is not what I want no more. So, you know, I've got to go and give PDC a go then. And I took that gamble because I could have done the Martin Adams thing. Would he have been any, you know, did it, so. And, you know, it was an absolute fairy tale for sort of 18 months till I won the Premier League. You know, just you couldn't have written it any better mm. uh, from there. But, uh, you know, I sit here right now and it's like, you know, the, the, my biggest challenge now is to, you know, to find out a little bit more about myself once again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You'll be all right, Dan. Yeah. Don't you worry yeah. about that. Yeah. Um, how much does Glenn Durant practice? Love practicing. Uh, again, let's go back to work. We'd go to work five o'clock, five till six spend time with Susan, have tea, and I used to love six to eight, two hours. I mean, in my early BDO days, it was six, and she would say, are you coming down at 11 o'clock at night? You know, five hours every night. Then you started winning the local league competitions, county, Super League, but the older I got, I remember reading uh, something to do with John Part, and it was about quality practice rather mm. than quantity. Uh, so I, I sort of get everything into it now within two hours. So I practice religiously every day. And you'd be doing that on your own, Lord? I always have you? done. I always practice on my own. Uh, How many I, you do that, are there? Yeah, I, and I'm beginning to think I'm losing a little bit of concentration as well because you only play the invisible man for so much. Mm. I've trekked myself to a nice scholar system, but online darts is just not for me. Unless I'm playing Justin Pipe with you commentating, that was one of my, that was one of my all-time favourite games. So I'm beginning more and more to understand. That I think I might need to get a real practice partner if uh, if I'm going to go uh, much further on my practice. Okay, uh, what other sports does Glenn Durrant play? Play is thingy, but I'm a massive sports fan. Uh, I remember Selco doing things, and, and I walk that. I think I got about nine points and you know Aspinall was second with one point Peter Wright was still trying to answer the first question so I'm a great you know I do I do love sports um, I love billiards snooker uh, mm -hmm. that was my background and again if you're from our area you know I think we've it's five world champions in billiards uh, so um, it, again if you're in the 80s you were a young teenage lad you're playing billiards and that's where the darts come from because I was in workingmen's club uh, at a very very early age Great stuff. Well, five billiards world champions and a darts world champion as well. Glenn Durrance putting to bed the internet rumours of being a Man United fan. <laughs> <laughs> the borough.